Hi everyone, it's Denise and Ethan here from Red Toys Reviewed. Today we're looking at Play-Doh and we're looking at Ariel's Undersea Castle. And we all know that Ariel was the littlest mermaid. When we look at the front of the box, we can see the castle and we can see how beautifully it's been decorated. We can see Ariel and we can see that there are moulds of all the sea animals. And it looks like there are two special tubs of Play-Doh. Let's turn it around and have a look at the back. Well, at the back, we can see that Ariel is up in her castle. And it looks like she has a little carriage. And there's also some sort of decorating tool here that we can have a look at. You see what it does. Oh, I can't wait to open the box up. Let's do it right now. Oh my goodness. Wow, an awful lot came out of that box. Well, if we look here, we see Ariel on a stand. Looking lovely. We're going to put her over there, out of the way. We've got three little tubs of sparkly Play-Doh. We have two larger tubs of Play-Doh Plus, so there's a green and a pink. We have the instructions of how to put her palace together. And then we have a whole lot of bits and pieces. But these have moles in them as well. There are two fish moles. There's this piece. Piece. I'm sure we'll figure out how to put it all together very soon. Oh, there's a clamshell. I wonder if we can find the other half of oh, that. Look, silly me, I found the other piece of it. It's here on the base of the palace. So that'll click in there and it'll close like that. But before we do that, let's build the palace properly, shall we? So this is our base. And then the big green walls, they pop into place like that. Oh, and they snapped. It's always good to hear the pieces snap together because then you know that they're in properly. So if we look at the walls of the castle, we have moles here. Looks like little seahorses and other types of fish. And then we have the bottom half of our clam shell here. Put the top on like that. There we go. And you heard that snap. So now the shell opens and closes just like a proper clam shell. There's also a balcony. That we are going to attach. So this is the balcony and we're going to attach it to the castle. There we go. You heard that snap and there we go. Look at that. And Ariel can sit on her balcony she can wave to all the fish as they go by. Right, we're going to take her out again just in case we make her fall over while we're putting the rest of the castle together. 
So we've done all of that. I think we're done. We're doing a pretty good job. This is part of the carriage. So I'm going to move that back a little bit. And put the carriage there. And there are some wheels. Look at these wheels. One, two, oh, and a very fancy front wheel with little moles in it, and a seahorse. So we click these together like that. Oh, there we go, that was easy. I'm going to pop the wheels on. Pop the other wheel on. Oh my, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then we have this little ISA. So what we do is we put, we can decide how we want the Play-Doh to come out. It can come out as a little pipe, or it can come out in that sort of shape. And what we do is we screw that on, just like when mum or dad is icing a cake. So we make sure this goes on properly. There we go. I'm going to put some Play-Doh in there, and we're going to push this down and it's going to come out in that shape. That's very exciting. I do like that. And our Play-Doh is our three little sparkly tubs of Play-Doh. So we have a sparkly red colour. We have a sparkly green colour and we have a sparkly purple colour. And we have two tubs of Play-Doh Plus. So we have Play-Doh plus pink and Play-Doh plus green. Look at those over there. Wow, I think we're ready to get started. Let's put Ariel up here. Oh, she just looks so gorgeous, doesn't she? Just sitting there waving. And we are going to make her fantastic dress. So I think we're going to start by making Ariel a dress. But there is nothing to make a dress for her, so we have to use our imaginations to make her a lovely gown. So what I've decided to do, and I'm going to try it and, and we'll see if it works, I'm going to use the back of the carriage to make the shape of her dress. Let's see if that works. So I think, shall we use some pink? Pink plus dough. I'm going to take it out. And I'm just going to flatten it in my hands. So I've made the pink Play-Doh flat and I'm just going to push it down just a little bit more. And I'm going to use the back of the carriage, which has got a lovely shape on it, hopefully to make the bottom of her skirt look gorgeous. So we have that short sort of shape on her dress. We have a knife that came in the set. So I'm just going to take some of this Play-Doh off because we don't need all of it. Right, let's see if we can dress Ariel. Pop that up under her green shorter dress. And we'll put that round like that. What do you think about that? 
I think that worked quite well. And then we're going to decorate it. So it's not going to be a plain old pink skirt. It's going to be beautiful. Oh, should we try some purple sparkly dough on it? Oh, look at that. Let me take it out and see if we can see the sparkles in it. Make it flat for you so see if it catches the light. Oh, can you see how that sparkles? Isn't that wonderful? So if I look here at the base of Ariel's castle, I've got two little moles here and I've got a little leaf and a little seashell. And I think I'm going to use those moles to help decorate her beautiful skirt in the sparkly purple look at that in the sparkly purple play-doh because she's a sea girl and I think she should have some seashells on her skirt. Another one of those. So it looks the same. Put one on each side. There's another one. There was also a green sparkly play-doh, which I think we might open. Look at that. I move it in the... Oh my goodness, look at all those sparkles. Isn't that lovely? And maybe... Use this other little shape here. I'm not sure what this would be. Would this be a oh, maybe another little shell? I think so. Another little shell. So let's just pull off all the extra play doh that we don't need. Tidy it up. Put Do you know what? I think she is looking fabulous. So we're just going to put her to one side in her gorgeous pink dress, pink and green dress. And we're going to have a look at our clamshell because that has molds in it as well. So we've got the green out. Let's make a green. I think this is flounder here. It looks very, very similar shape. I'm going to push down, pick it up and let's see who we've got here. I think it is flounder. Look at that. What a cool shape. There we go. And of course flounder is always with Ariel. Same. So should we put in there? And it wouldn't be right if we didn't have Sebastian. So I think we'll make Sebastian this pinky colour. He might not like it too much, but we won't tell him. This is also pink sparkly compound. You can see all the sparkles in it. I'm going to put that over Sebastian and push down on the clamshell. Pick it up. Oh! Let me pull off the spare play dough. You might be able to see him even better. Look at that. There's Sebastian with his claws. And there's Sebastian having a chat to Ariel. Wow, there are so many other things that we could make. I'm going to make a green seahorse here. 
always using my thumb just to press it in and when I can start feeling the edges of what I'm pressing it into it's probably like, oh this looks like a little baby seahorse oh how cute is that a little hair looks lovely tidying up a little bit especially. he is amazing I think he should go in the carriage because he's just a baby. I think he should be one of the people that rides along with Ariel. And we've still got a green left here that we haven't used yet. It's quite a light green, so let me put this onto this mold here to see what we've got. Oh, another one. Maybe it's his brother or his sister. Another baby seahorse. Oh, she's lovely. Right, so two baby seahorses are in the carriage because they cannot be expected to swim so far. They're only babies. Now we're going to have a look at this icing machine again. So we're going to turn that on, make sure it goes on really well and it's on tight so that the play doh can't escape from it. And we're going to oh, here we'll just put some pink play doh in there and a bit more, I think. Put that plunger in, push it down, and what do you see comes out? Oh, look this. So we could almost decorate Ariel's castle with long, big bands of Play Doh ribbon. And we could put some green in there as well. We could decorate Ariel's castle with long pink ribbons of sparkly play doh. Just to make it look so beautiful. Just right for a princess. Oh, I've run out of dough. Let me put some more in. You see what happens is sometimes the dough squishes up past the plunger. So if we push that back in, we can carry on with our dough. There we go. So she could have pink. We could make green ribbons to make it look like seaweed. Oh, we could do so much. In fact, let's put some green in. Popping green in there. Sometimes that helps if you just use your fingers and make it like a long, thin sausage. It's easier to push it in. Now, to begin with, we might just have a little bit of pink coming out because there's a little bit of pink left in there. If we watch, we'll see when the green starts coming out. Oh my goodness, there was a lot of pink left in there. Let's put that over there, shall we? So here we go, here are our long green strands. Oh. We could call this seaweed and make it help make Ariel's castle look beautiful. So 
I'm going to put Ariel up in her castle. There she is there in her gorgeous dress. There is Sebastian. And there is Flounder. Always close to her. Always making sure that she's not getting into trouble. Now the other thing that we haven't looked at yet is the little carriage, which is all the way over here. So we're going to look at the carriage. And as you remember, we put the two baby seahorses into the carriage. They look like they're fast asleep. We better shh. So I've got some pink Play-Doh here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it quite flat so that the carriage can ride over it and we can see what sort of shapes it's going to leave behind as it rolls. So here we go. So what's happened is, from the back wheels, we've got a lovely wavy piece of Play-Doh and the front wheel, look at that, it's put all these shapes, stars, starfish, music notes, little crowns, all sorts of things on the road that Ariel will be driving on. So let me just make this row just a little bit longer. I'm going to do it again just to show you because that was so much fun. Wrap that into a ball. And flatten it out again. I should probably want a longer road this time rather than a fatter road. Just so you can see those beautiful shapes. Should we put Ariel in the carriage as well so she can go for a little ride with the two baby seahorses? We have to just move them for a moment. Put Ariel in. Two seahorses back in. Oh, and now she's ready to go on her carriage drive. Doesn't she look lovely in there? Wow. So let's take her along. Let's put Ariel back up on her balcony. Leave the two little seahorses sleeping in the carriage. And let's see what we've got. Oh, so did a fabulous job of making wavy Play-Doh. And look at the lovely lane that she travels in with all the shapes. Look at that. That's just amazing. How oh, lovely. Thank you for helping me with Ariel today, building her underwater castle and helping me make that beautiful dress of hers with all the seashells along the bottom. They're beautiful. Thank you for watching Denise and Ethan at Red Toys Reviewed. Please subscribe. See you again soon. Bye.